Ah, oh, do you smell that, everybody? That smells like not artillery only. Oh, hey, everybody, it's me not taking responsibility for my actions productions here, and everyone out there is kind of spamming artillery only as I record this, so, uh, thanks, guys, but I, re I really want to kind of see Bo do artillery only. So last time we gave this a go, I was playing as the Americans with the American Focus Tree rework, and I also had the Soviet Union rework one, but I obviously didn't play as those, so this time around, we're going to be giving it a go, and I've made sure to give Stalin his best, biggest mustache. Nobody can see your pain if you hide it under a big mustache. So usually when playing the Soviets, you're kind of stuck with that Stalin guy, but with this mod, I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to get rid of him. I'm sorry, Stalin, it's just the mustache is too big. Now, we can either go down a new approach and do things a bit more diplomatically, but where the hell is the fun in that one? Instead, we've got a much better option over here to the left, which is going to be a... Uh... Oh, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, there's also a focus that puts us at war with China, trying to reunite China under communist China, 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 a bit of China, and you know what? China, 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 China. And if we gave the Japanese North the Kalin, they will actually give all of their land in China back to the Chinese. Terrible deal. Oh, so if the Japanese go communist, they actually have an option to give us back South the Kalin, and because I gave them North the Kalin, we've just kind of swapped. So yeah, speaking of which, the Japanese are in a civil war, but every time I've seen this Japanese Civil War fire, it never goes anywhere they never actually push so uh nice now, i was just about to say i'm fed up of seeing austria hungry form in these games but uh germany appears to be taking care of that one for me oh i love mao mao is my favorite person in china just kidding mao dies yeah i think this is the last time we're playing with world of alternatives mod because uh once again india's broke free and they're in a civil war under communism what the hell franco what time do you call this? This Spanish Civil War should be over. Ah, well, you know, I was complaining about everyone going communist in World of Alternatives mod. Well, uh, France went fascist under Philip Pertain. By the way, he's still going to prison. Don't worry about it. Even if he did form a faction with Italy, that just means he's doubly going to prison. Oh, uh, triply going to prison? Like, is that possible? Congratulations, citizens of the Soviet Union. You won't have TB anymore. Well, in go the Germans, and considering they have all of Hungary, Czechoslovakia, and Austria, they're going to be pretty damn powerful, and it looks like they're going to go to war with France anyway. Yeah, considering the UK already lost India, I don't think that's going to help them. Ah, uh, and now Germany gets the Benelux for free. Oh my god, this Germany's way too powerful. Uh, interestingly enough, I declared war on Estonia, and uh, Finland, Latvia, Romania, and Bulgaria and Finland, I never said Finland, they all joined the war against me. I, I, they're not in a faction, they just join. Oh, Mr. UK. You're not feeling too good, are you? But despite the fact uh, Trotsky's been leading our country for three years, apparently he was still in Mexico and had an assassination attempt on him, and uh, he's a worm, apparently, despite the fact he is our glorious leader. Well, we, we all knew that one was coming, didn't we, Mr. Schmidler? We all knew that one was coming. Except Stalin. He never saw it coming. Oh, here they come, and I've actually put my units up to 40 with, so I doubt they're even going to bother pushing, so I, this is just going to be a stalemate until I build some proper tanks. It's actually a lot better to do Trotsky, I feel, because you don't get any of the negative bonuses from the Purge, but you do get a few other ones, but uh, you can probably wait them out until you get the Great Patriotic War, which is definitely making this, uh, it, if you can't tell, it's making it very easy. Oh, Jesus Christ! We're gonna lose the war! Yeah, I kind of overestimate how powerful the Germans were. I'm managing just to swarm them. But then again, I'm the Soviet Union. That's exactly what I'm supposed to do. But hey, guys, pretty cool encirclements, am I right? Tips Reddit Karma. Yeah, I don't think the Germans have much fight left in them, but that's uh, it's not really a bother to me, really. I'm gonna move on to France and Italy next by the looks. Ah, not even halfway through the game. So the Soviet Union's looking pretty damn thick right now. We've got all of Asia and, you know, a big part of Europe now under our influence, which is pretty damn good. Um, apparently, the France and the French and the Italians actually capitulated Britain, though, so I don't know how that's going to affect things. Oh, I don't even get a break, apparently. As soon as I peaced out, the Italians are justifying on Yugoslavia. Right, well, here come the Italians, and I, I'm not going to push the Italians. I'm going to wait for the French, and then I'm going to push round the back. That's just how I do it. Well, the French, unlike the Italians, were too scared to join the war on their ally side, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it for them. I was going to say the uh, uh, French probably should have known by now that this was going to happen, but technically Germany never invaded them, so they they didn't know this was going to happen. Jund 
Palestine. What the hell's a Jund Palestine? Also, I completely forgot that Trotsky has the ability to just set off revolutions immediately without waiting 200 days, so why not? Britain, you're, you're communist now. So I pulled my troops out of the Middle East because I couldn't be bothered dealing with it, but uh, apparently uh, everyone else just came to fi figure it out for me. Uh, so thanks, Republic of the Arabian Assembly also known as communist Saudi Arabia. So I noticed this big mess down in China and I have been wondering where all these uh, French, Italian and all those type of troops are and uh, apparently they're all just hanging around here in China. I, I don't know why. I like how this whole time the US has actually stayed democratic and it's just looking at the world burn while Roosevelt's like, Debra! Bring me to the pool, I need a whirling. So now I just gotta figure out how to get over to Britain and my navy is nowhere near powerful enough to deal with that just yet, but I don't know, we'll turn Ireland communist, maybe they'll do it, I know, probably not. Ah, so Canada, which was fascist and under the French government, is now communist and is in a civil war against the fascist. Uh, Sure. Uh, you know, I always forget about the Spanish and the Finnish. I wasn't really expecting the new Persian Empire, which has just, uh, you know, blitzkrieged me and stolen all my oil production. Well, finally got supremacy over the English Channel, and in we go to Britain, I suppose. Although I do have to admit that dropping 150 artillery divisions was way more of a fun way to do it. Well, there is the French faction gone with, and now I can clean up this massive mess they left upon the world. So, with the French and the Germans out of the way, you're probably wondering wondering, well, what the hell's left to do? And I've, I've, I know you'd be asking that because I've actually left one special focus to the very end. I know, it's, it's, a, it's a big surprise. So in the Soviet rework mod, there's actually a focus that uh, is pretty much near end game for you. You could do it earlier, I don't recommend it, but it is, it is the, uh, the state of perpetual warfare which puts you at war with everyone that you're not allied with or that is not a puppet, aka a permanent revolution. So now we are at war with every single person that is not in our factor, is not puppeted with us, and uh, oh, oh there, there's actually not that many of them left here, so there's, there's literally no one. I didn't even realise this, but at some point, Greece has overtaken New Zealand. I, I, I didn't even realise. Oh, I love it when all my troops are just hanging around in the sea as Canada gets overtaken. Can you please hurry up and get over there? Unsurprisingly, as I started invading Sweden, uh, they, they have no troops. Um... I don't know where they are or what they're doing, but apparently they have two of them. I've yet to find them. Wait, they're on scraping the barrel with two troops. Not even my navy that's taken out the US. This one is the goddamn German one. I didn't even know they had one left. Uh, Canada, I don't want to burst your bubble there, but you're already in the common turn. You've been in it for a while, quite a while now, in fact. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of the American focus re rework, but the, the Americans are actually really weak. I don't know if the AI just doesn't know how to handle it, but it was an incredibly easy war. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take all the good provinces, aka the ones with resources, then I'll just puppet the US because uh, I don't want to deal with that. Speaking of things I don't want to do, invading South America is just so much fun. Fun. What the hell? When I pieced out the US, apparently Sweden somehow snaked out the peace. How the hell did this happen? The only person I need to capitulate to win this war is Haiti. <laughs> not even Sweden is considered a major power. Just Haiti. I'm not even navally invading with like good troops. I just got a horse, three guys, and a truck, and that apparently that'll do it. Whew, uh, I don't know about you, but that uh oh, that looks pretty damn good if you ask me. Uh, wait a second, I just noticed that Yugoslavia was not in my faction, but they're my puppet, and they're they're in the Pan-Slavic Workers' Party, but they're not in my faction. Uh, how the hell did you manage to do this, Yugoslavia? Goddamn Tito and his magical Slav magic! Oh, God, isn't it beautiful to look at, though? The common turn has achieved true communist, except for the Pan-Slavic Workers' Congress, which is, um... The only bastion of diplomacy and, you know, freedom in the world, but, uh, I can't do anything about that because I still technically own them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you do, you leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave me some suggestions down below on anything you want to see me do in Hearts of Iron 4, any different mods you want to see. But, of course, at the end, I did want to just go ahead and say thank you to everyone that hit the, they hit the milestone for 300k, anyone that subbed, anyone that, you know... Did, did all the work or went out and spammed artillery only on people's videos and all the people that have been spamming artillery only on my videos for like six months uh, 
I feel like it was a really good milestone to hit the 300k video and uh, I, I was a bit sad I couldn't do more on the lazy town mod but I feel like considering the, the circumstances uh, it wasn't very appropriate. But anyway I think when I get back from i63 I'll be doing like a small giveaway or something to say thank you for you guys because it, it, it is a big milestone 300k I've said it a million times I don't think I didn't think my channel would ever get this big but here we are and it, it's just getting bigger every now and then so uh, I, I just want to say thank you for supporting the channel and you know, being there for, for me, and I'm there for you, and we, we, no one else likes us, we're just in our own little group, and uh, they probably don't like us even more now that we spammed artillery only all over the fucking internet.